is getting dead. Uh, I think I better go get a new one. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I hope you all had a good day. Today was a good day for me. I did go outside and shovel for a while, which I'm sure some of you others, other people have done that too. Some of you had to clear your walkways and your driveways and your car. Thankfully, I don't have to clear off a car because I don't go anywhere. I stay home. Well, today um, I've gathered eight eggs and I had to get... Brownie was, has been in the nest box every time I go to get eggs and I don't like to get eggs out from underneath her because she's the one that growls and bites at me. So, whoops, what was that? This was phone. Oh, you're losing your phone. Put it away. It's away. <laughs> it's away. He was playing a game while I was off getting a new battery because this battery was dying and I didn't want to try to make the video with a dead battery. So anyways, what was I saying? I went out and got an egg from eggs. Brownie. Yeah. And I wait till dark because she bites and growls at me. And I got one egg out from underneath of her today. Yesterday I got five eggs out from underneath her. But it's it's easier in the dark because she can't really see me. Well, I wanted to share something with you. I've been looking at it every time I come out here. My if my mother was alive, she would be she'd be delighted to be on YouTube. She would she would be a fun person to interview because she had a lot of wisdom. But anyways, Every time I see Farmer Mima, oh, she's got she added something to her name. Hmm. I don't remember what it is, but I will put it in the more section what the actual name is. But anyways, and her link so you can find her if you wish to find her. I've been watching her for a very long time. Well, she has a picture that's hanging on her wall as she does her little videos. And the picture is nobody that she knows, but it looks like someone that she would love to know. And whenever I see the picture from far away, she looks like my mother. But when I looked at the picture up close, my mother didn't have all the wrinkles that the lady has in the picture. My mother actually had very good skin. I will show you a picture of my mother. This is my mother. And the lady that's in the picture is built just like her. Um, in fact, she wears the same shoes as her. And she has the same smile. And her arms and everything is built just like her. And she looked like she was wearing a house dress like my mother always wore, wore kind of a house dress. Except for on Sunday. Sunday she would put on her Sunday dress. And then when she'd come home, she put her house dress back on. But um, this, is, this picture frame is actually, if you have, if you want to do a craft with someone. This is just a wood frame that came from probably the dollar store. And what they, what she did is she made, stick, put stickers on there of the things she was interested in. And my mother was interested in sewing, she was inter interested in reading, and she was interested in cooking and in church. So she's got that on there. I don't know if she's got the reading on there, but she mm -hmm. used, oh yeah, the Bible is on there. She used to read her her prayers every day. In fact, she used to read them all the time. That she lived, and the, the my parents were married sixty years, and people used to ask them, "How did you stay married so long?" And she used to say, "Well, she goes to church and he goes fishing," yeah. which is true. That's exactly what they did. Um, when he retired, it was really hard for my mom because my mom was used to not having him home at night because he worked four to twelve. And so every day he would be home during the day, but then he would be gone. And she used to like to go for ice cream or for rides. Or She was a big ice cream eater. And so she used to want to go to the Red Barn. The Red Barn had the best milkshakes. In fact, you used to bring a spoon because the milkshakes were so thick you couldn't eat. You couldn't suck them up through the straw. So she used to want to go. And we used to go for the girls. We used to go because my brothers were in the service. And they weren't around, so it was just my mom and the girls. So we used to go, and when the boys got out of the service, that interfered too. It made our whole system different. <laughs> I know, it's, it's crazy. You get things to where you feel comfortable with it, and then things change. Just like the world has changed. I guess I'm going on to that subject now. <laughs> and I was talking today to, I have to tell you, 
she, um, I, Lynn from Goat Shed Life, she, my Goat Shed Life, called me today. I love talking to her. She and I were talking about how when you hit a certain age, all of a sudden you start to gain. So she and I decided that the message to you young people are before you hit menopause, if you're a girl, before you hit menopause, if you've got a weight problem, you better get on it now because menopause will really send you for a loop. Huh? Amplify it. it will, it's terrible. I was telling her that Jim and I could be in, every morning I bring him coffee. And I, on the weekends, not every morning, but in the weekend mornings because he's not, he leaves early otherwise. I'm in bed still sleeping. But I bring him coffee in the weekend and we weigh ourselves in the morning on the weekends and we write it down and I told him, now I've been sitting here for half an hour, I bet you if I get up and weigh myself, I'm going to weigh more. So I do and sure enough, I weigh more and he weighs the same so that he did in the morning. And then about a half an hour later after that, I'll say, well, I bet you if I weigh myself, I'm going to even weigh more than I did the last time. Sure enough, I weigh more and he weighs the same. So the air that you breathe, believe it or not, it makes you heavy. <laughs> so <laughs> it's very, very mind-boggling. But before menopause, I could eat a house, a home, a barn, a cow, a horse, and still never gain. But not anymore. Life has changed so if you've got a weight problem and you're young, I mean really young, get on it, is what our advice is. Just get on it right now. Hi, Lynn. I hope you see this video. She's, I'm waiting for her to make a few more videos. She's not felt like it lately, but she's going to get on to it. And I'm looking forward to it. So when you do, Lynn, I'm there watching it. And I'm sure others will too. I'll put your link in and they can find you. And... I'm sure you'll enjoy some of the other videos that she's put out. She's got she's really a very, very fun person to watch. So we'll talk to you all later. I've got to go have my dinner. I haven't eaten yet. We're having chicken and I'm having melody vegetables. Yeah. Is what I'm having. Garden yeah. melody. Garden, or, uh, garden California. California melody. melody vegetables or whatever you want to call them. They've got the broccoli, the cauliflower, and the carrots. carrots. And I put Cayenne pepper on it because I've got to have a little spice. It's really good. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.